Hello guys, and gals, it's me, Mutar, and today we are going to be narrating a creepypasta based on the game Hatred. So, let's get started! Seth Bane and Xerinx Lighten had met each other on a small but friendly Discord server, where they shared a special bond that couldn't be described in words. As they developed into young adults, they had one dream in common, to make a video game in which they could express their rage and lack of acceptance for people who committed atrocious acts like pedophilia, zoophilia, lolican, and shatakin. One day, their dream became a reality <laughs> armed with a powerful but difficult engine called Unreal Engine 5 that created a video game with a twist. Its primary character would be Seth and Xerox, with their mission being to gun down and kill as many lolicans, shatakins, pedophiles, zoophiles, and maps minor attractive people as possible. The graphics were incredibly realistic and the gameplay intensely satisfying. But, as they began to distribute the game worldwide, they ran into very bad problems. The governments and other organizations began to object, misinform, and take its message way out of proportion and the extreme violence. To avoid any trouble, the developers decided to let the game slip quietly into a dark corner of the internet where it couldn't be found. However, the game's highly graphic imagery and disturbing subject matter and realistic action have now resurfaced. Seth and Xerinx lust version of the video game Hatred has reappeared, and it seems as though it's gained quite a huge following, with a little bit of a controversy from fuck the people that need to stay out of school zones. The, the, the only thing is, so nobody knows what will happen if the game is discovered by the government. Well, this was a Hatred creepypasta, and I have to say, this was quite a thing. I'll just start off by saying that Seth and Xerinx did an amazing job with the story. It was awesome. The concept of a second Hatred game involving the killing of those horrid people is rather interesting and technically not out of the ordinary if someone would take their time and effort into it if they could. I bet you someone might make this into a really decent fan game out of Hatred, but that alone could get the creator of the fan game to get in trouble with supporters of that horrid quote-unquote art form, which is an art all. It still is promoting the sexualization of children, no matter how you look at it. Please give the author Seth Bayon some good credit here. He made a story about a difficult subject matter to tackle, and I thought he did it well even though it may come off to people as rather edge alert material. But I love it either way. In the end, I would like to ask you guys, what will you rate it and what do you want to make the story better? This has been another episode of Haunted Gaming. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, Minor, and I'm out.